US students are staging encampments protesting Israel's actions in Gaza across more than a dozen universities. But what is an encampment? How did this start? And what are the students' demands? On April 17, hundreds of students from Columbia University staged a Vietnam-style encampment inside the main campus of the university. An encampment is a physical camp, in this case set up by the students to provide a base for their protests and obstruct the university. The students say this is in response to the repression of pro-Palestinian protests in Ivy League schools. It began hours before the university's president, Manu Shafiq's testimony was expected before the US House Committee on Education and the Workforce. We've set up an encampment here of around 50 tents. Um, we are going to be creating our own version of the university because we no longer recognize the university that we came to be a part of because of the repression um, and the severe encroachment on academic freedom. So far, police have arrested 108 Columbia University demonstrators, causing similar protests to take place on campuses across the country. Students have also been arrested at other campuses staging encampments. So what do these students want? Their universities to seize business dealings and investments with companies that supply arms or otherwise support Israel's military actions in Gaza. They want an end to academic partnerships and research grants with Israeli institutions that are involved in Israel's military efforts. Transparency around university funds and investments related to Israel. Some students want their university to recognize the genocide and displacement of Palestinians by Israel. And finally, amnesty for students and faculty who have been disciplined or arrested during the protests and giving the students the right to protest peacefully without facing consequences. This is not the first time the US have seen this form of protest. In the 1980s, students at the universities like Cornell stage encampments to protest their university's investments in companies doing business in apartheid South Africa. The encampment led to a mass arrest of over 1,000 students, faculty and staff, and the encampment spread to campuses across the US as part of the broader student-led divestment movement against apartheid. University leaders, politicians and media outlets are responding to the encampments in different ways. Benjamin Netanyahu said, What's happening on America's college campuses is horrific. Anti-Semitic mobs have taken over leading universities. They call for the annihilation of Israel. They attack Jewish students. They attack Jewish faculty. Although there has been no evidence for physical violence, President Joe Biden has also labeled this as an anti-Semitic protest. I condemn the anti-Semitic protest. That's why I've set up a program to deal with that. I also condemn those who don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians. Schools have also come under pressure from wealthy donors who have accused the schools of failing to crack down on anti-Semitism on the campuses. Meanwhile, alumni of schools like New York University have pledged to hold back their donations until the university stops infringing on the rights of students and faculty to speak their minds on campuses. It's been eight days since the protests started and universities are taking different approaches on how to end them. But students say they won't leave until their demands are met.